Today we're going to talk about some progressions for handstand push-ups. We're going to talk about correct form, some common mistakes we see, and we're going to give you some progressions that are going to go from beginner to advanced. So what I want you to think about with a handstand push-up is that you are basically taking a barbell, pressing it up over your head, except now we're doing it upside down. So at the bottom of the handstand push-up, my head is behind my arms. At the top, my head is through my arms. Alexa's gonna demonstrate some of the progressions here for us. So we're gonna start first with um, just the regular old pike push-up. The closer your feet are to the ground, the more of a beginner movement this will be, the higher your feet go up towards the wall, the more advanced it'll be. So she's gonna first start in a pike position. So her hips are nice and high, her hands are out in front of her. Her head is gonna start, so it's going towards her toes. She's gonna think nose to her toes. From here, she's going to take her hands and her head and almost think of them as a triangle. Her hands are at the bottom of the triangle, her head is at the top. Her nose is to her toes and then she's going to come down. Go ahead, Alexa. Head is gonna to touch in front of her hands and then she's gonna come back and press through, nose to her toes. Then she's gonna come back forward, head is gonna to go to the floor and then come through. Go ahead and relax. One thing that she is avoiding here is just turning it into a regular push-up. She's making sure to go full range of motion. So what common mistake we see is that her hips are gonna go up, her head's gonna be out in front, and then she's gonna just turn it into a inverted push-up. So this will look like this. Good, so here her head is behind her hands, and that's what we want to avoid. Go ahead and relax. A little bit more advanced from there, her, she's gonna bring her feet up off the ground, and she's gonna put her knees onto a box. So coming onto the box, she's gonna use this ab mat as a target. Again, she's gonna think of her hands as a hands and head as a triangle, so they're behind the mat. Her head is gonna come up to the ab mat. So she's starting now with her nose towards the box. She's gonna come forward and through. She's gonna tap her head to the floor and then coming back through. Notice how her, how her hips are nice and high, the angle she's going at. So go ahead, she taps in front and then head comes back through, nose to the box. The next step up from there is that she can put her feet up onto the box. This will help her body to get even more vertical. So she's gonna adjust her mat. Feet are gonna come to about the middle of the box. Notice now how her back is pretty much vertical and parallel to the floor, or perpendicular to the floor. So from here, nose is gonna go towards the box and then head towards the floor. Again, coming slightly in front of her hands and then back up and through. Good, go ahead and relax. All right, two common faults that we see when people have their feet up on the box is one, they shorten their range of motion. When you're not going all the way down, you're not building that shoulder strength that you need for a handstand push-up. The second one is they're putting themselves in a bad position from the beginning. If either of these occur, go back down to your knees, build that shoulder strength, get comfortable with correct positioning, and then move back up to going onto your feet. So Alexa's gonna demonstrate this. She's gonna start going up onto her feet on the box. She's gonna start with a shortened range of motion. So she's in a great position, but her, she's barely even bending her arms, her head's not touching the floor. This is not building the shoulder strength she needs. From there, the second fault, notice she's starting where her back is no longer vertical, and she's in a much more comfortable position, but not a position that's gonna get her where she needs to be. From there, her positioning is wrong, and she's not doing it correctly, so she's going to resort back to going down to her knees, building that strength, getting good positioning. From the floor, we've come over to the wall and we're gonna talk about a couple progressions on the wall. The first one we're gonna talk about is a wall walk. A wall walk is great to use to build strength. Um, it's also a great progression you can put into a workout. If you choose to do wall walks, they take a lot longer. They are difficult, so you wanna ask the coach how many you need to be doing in a workout. You're not gonna typically be doing the same amount as is programmed for a handstand push-up. At the very most, you're gonna be doing about half, but always depends on the workout and what the stimulus is that day. So Alexa's gonna demonstrate some wall walks. She's gonna start at the top of the push-up position. Her feet are up against the wall. This is gonna be nice and controlled. She's gonna walk her feet up the wall, as she walks her feet up the wall, she's gonna walk her hands towards the wall. The goal here is to get into that perfectly vertical position where her nose is touching the wall and her hands are straight over her shoulders. Good, as she comes back down, she's gonna walk out just as controlled as she walked up. She's not collapsing at the bottom, walking her hands out, walking her feet down, bring her feet to the floor, and she's completed her wall walk. 
From there, something that we're gonna talk about is kicking up to the wall and doing a hold. So Alexa's going to come up against the wall. First, I wanna talk about her kicking up against the wall. A common fault we see is that people just wanna put their hands down, kick both feet up at the, time, at the same time. So this will look like this. Not the most effective way to get up to the wall. So you wanna think about kicking one leg up at a time, whipping your head through at the top and getting into a solid position. Notice how she kicks one leg, then the other, her head comes through right away at the top and there she is in her hold. She's gonna hold there, build that stability, get comfortable upside down and then nice and controlled, she's gonna lower one leg and then the other. Good. These are really great to do as some extra work afterwards if you're not comfortable being upside down, building that confidence. Also, if you're doing the um, pike push-ups, you can add a, add a couple seconds of a handstand hold to the end of that in a workout if you'd like to do that as well. So again, Alexa's going to kick back up to the wall, one leg at a time. She whips her hips up, head through. She's at the top of her handstand push-up. Now she's going to slowly lower herself down, getting full range of motion all the way to the floor. Once her head touches, she's going to nice and controlled, kick one leg down at a time. Stand up, regroup, and then go through that again. Thanks for watching my video. Soon you'll be doing handstand push-ups like this.